hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous video we got some errors so in this video we will fix this error and we will work on when we will also work on the profile.php file so let's start so first so let's create the profile.php file and it will be saved in the social network folder p r o f i l e dot php and click save so now first we will open up our html tags and after the doc type first we need to open up the php tags and then we will start the session so we will type session dot php or oh, not dot php session underscore start and uh, then after the session we will include the uh, header.php file on the profile.php so we just include the header.php file and uh, we will type if not i set and then dollar underscore session session and uh, then the user underscore email then curly breath hit and uh, we will type header and then location and location will be the I think the the index.php file and then close this one so first thing first let's create this uh, index.php file and we will save this in the social network folder and uh, we need just to write a uh, one line code and that will be the include and uh, we will just remove this connection dot php and then the includes and then we will just type main dot php that's it so now if we check this in our browser i already opened that index dot php file so here is our index dot php file let's log in and uh, my password so now let's check the so before we check the profile.php we will add a bootstrap links and uh, before that we will add a title and uh, the title will be the username so we need to fetch the username from the database so for that we will get a variable user and it will be equals to Oh, let's just copy this code from the user header.php file and uh, then just paste it over here and we don't need the user id so we will just remove that and uh, over in the title tag we will echo the dollar user underscore name and a double quotes also so after the title tag let's just add the bootstrap links so if we go to the sign in dot php we will just copy this lines of codes and just paste it after the title so now on the header.php we need to create this post table so go to my scale php my admin and then the new we'll get a new table and uh, now so the first will be the post underscore id and it will be an integer and length will be 11 and it will be an hard to increment and then the next one will be the user underscore id 
and this will be also an int and then the post underscore content it will be a watcher and the length will be 255 and after that the upload underscore image for the image will I mean the post image it will be also a watcher length will be 255 and now we need one more column so the last one will be the post date and the post date will be a, a timestamp where is the timestamp over here and then current timestamp and then save this oh we didn't give it a name so the name will be posts now save it so it is our post table if we go to the structure here is all of our columns so guys i was just checking my header.php codes and i noticed that we didn't close the a tag over here so now we close so close that a tag and guys i just paused the video and i uh, add this one more option data minus toggle is equals to hashtag bs hyphen example hyphen navbar and hyphen collapse hyphen one and over here also id equals to bs hyphen example and all of that okay so if you want to write this then pause this video and then type it okay and now if we just scroll down we need to change we need to close this div and uh, then over here we will just type i and this i class will be equals to glyco icon and glyco icon all of that and then we will just close that i tag and close that span tag and now save this and remember what i did i just uh, open up span tag and close the span tag and, and inside the span tag I open up a i tag and at class is equals to glyco icon glyco and chevron down and then I just close that i tag and one thing more we need to change this to drop down not down down why I have got some of oh, okay so now save this and uh, I just already refresh the page so now if we just click on it it will just show the drop down okay so this is our header but I think it still got an error so if you go back and scroll from over here okay so here the class is equals to it's a class double s I just put a single s so before we check this we need to cut this closing tag of the button and we need to paste it after the this three four span tags okay so now if we save this and now I will tell you why we add this button after the span tag so I already refresh my browser so now if we just scroll it down to the tablet screen okay it just show this button okay and if we just again remove this button from here and save it and if we refresh it again it didn't show the button so that's why I add the button after the span tag okay so there it is our beautiful header file a perfect and beautiful header for our social network and here is all of our links our drop down and all of that so guys I think this is it for this video and the next video we will we will continue our work on the profile.php okay so don't worry we will get the profile.php as same as in the introductory video you just watch so this is it for this video and thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you